So pain, right? There's nothing as bad as it. Everyone has experienced pain before. Falling, breaking bones, stabbing your best friend, being embarrassed by your entire class, you know, the basics. I'm not accident prone, but I do remember getting hurt a lot. But throughout all those times I've been hurt, I've never broken a single bone. Which is great and will be put on my resume. So here I am now talking about a bunch of pains that I've experienced. Now I'm going to jump to 6th grade. It was nearly the end of the year and we were all playing kickball. My team was batting and the other team was pitching. After I kicked the ball, I immediately booked it to second base. As I was trying to slow down, I slipped on the dirt and fell on my butt. Ow. Okay, maybe it wasn't that dull and monotone. But I screamed at the top of my lungs and started bursting into tears. But nobody saw or heard me scream in pain. Thanks, guys. The good thing is that nobody can make fun of me since no one saw me scream or cry in the field. So that's one point for me. Have you ever got your finger caught in a door? Well, I have, and it hurts a lot. When I was in kindergarten, I asked to go to the bathroom. These bathroom doors had to be pushed to, in order to open, and letting them go will reset the door back to its original orientation. It's a five-year-old's worst nightmare. So when I left the bathroom, my thumb was caught in the door. Ah! I screamed so loud that the school secretary heard me and rushed me to the nurse's office. And now, because of that, I'm a little cautious of doors. But I didn't really become cautious with heights until this moment. When I was four, my dad brought me to the playground and I did all the normal things a kid should do there. You know what I'm talking about. The swing set, the slide, and the horsey. It was then when my dad showed me a football and said, If you want the ball, you're gonna have to climb the monkey bars. When I heard that, my confidence was at an all-time high. I wanted that football. I grabbed the first monkey bar. I was doing pretty good. Then I grabbed onto the second one and... I face-planted into the ground and started crying. I was fine, though. No teeth fell out, my mouth wasn't distorted, and my lip was just bleeding. That was it. I went home ugly crying, and then I just got an ice pack put on my face. Okay, last story. When I was about five, I was introduced to a magical kitchen appliance known as the toaster. I just looked at the beautiful square and said, Huh, what would happen if I pushed down on the lever? After doing that, I started putting a bunch of plastic materials in the toaster. And then, an interesting question popped up in my head. Huh, what would happen if I stuck my finger in there? Ah! My finger burned, it hurt, and I got a bandage put on it. Okay, so it's the end. And I have learned one thing. Don't be as stupid as I was.